Okay, you look gorgeous. Can we do the intro? I've got a Clinique moisturizer. Yes. Oh, what are you, 55? No, don't say we... No, the woman that served me was young. Hello. Oh, hi. Welcome to episode 31 of... Trusty Trusty Hogs. Through the fog, step forth the trusty hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they won't and that's your problem. They'll have guests. Trusty hogs, trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. You have to pretend you did education till year two. Mm. That's a, you like. I think guys want you to have dropped out of school in year two, so seven years old, and be like, I can read, but mm, yeah. I, I think only what's s- that letter? <laughs> X. <laughs> I feel like only certain men like. No, all men. No. <laughs> if my mom acted like that dumb a bitch around my dad, he'd be like, are you all right? Like, what's, <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, he, like, like you, you need, like, I don't think that all men revel in that kind of, like, profound sycophancy. But See, bloody Daniel hell. Does. does Daniel does. does. At does home, he? if I say anything that has, like, more than, like, 10 syllables in a sentence. Is it just the, the, are you sure it's not the pitch you're saying it at? Maybe it's the pitch. Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. Maybe but I wonder, that. so what, you can like have sex so long as he thinks it's his idea? Well, I don't have sex with Sunil, so. Why? Why would we? Please. Well, you can't sleep with your housemate. Please, mommy and daddy would be so cute together. Mommy and daddy? Please. Where did that come from? I love it, please. <laughs> You'd be so happy. Keep your separate rooms. Keep your separate rooms. Say, I've never played dumb for a guy, but I definitely have seen it happen. Like, my favourite thing is we used to, like, flirt at school and we'd be like, oh my God, your hand's so much bigger than mine. Oh, with babies. Do you remember this flirting technique? Was this just a me thing? What's and you put your hand up to it. Come on, right? Also, put your hand were you up. Flirting with women because that's how lesbians and flirt. Not, not, no. not the tone, but the words. I mean, I was always flirting with girls as well. But like, so we'd go up to like dudes and be like, "Put your hand up, put your hand up." Okay. And then we'd go like this, go like, oh, "Your hand's so much bigger than your hand mine. is so much bigger." Yeah, than obviously, mine, it didn't work for me. I'd go up to guys, but <laughs> like, your hand's much bigger than mine. Yeah, I could I kill have, you. <laughs> I don't have small hands, and yours are very big. Have you, well, in proportion, everything's bigger. On no, me. you got Jodie Comer fingers. That's insane. What's Jodie Comer fingers? Thank you for laughing. Em knows what I mean. Jodie Comer. Have you not seen Jodie Comer's hands? No, why would I? Why? Oh, because there's an entire Twitter page devoted to them. There's Instagram what? pages devoted to them. She has. The largest, longest hands you've ever seen. Like, honestly, there are, like, odes to it Just online. Just one more thing Jody and I have in common. Yeah, seriously. Just one more Just thing. Just another thing. Here we go. It's you're all both, happening. You're both amazing at accents and both are very lovely. Well, thank you very much, oh, Catherine. No, because you know I want to talk about my trip to Ireland with you. And okay. I know we've already discussed it, so I need to tell Em about it. Em, mm. I thrived. I thrived in Ireland. I went to Ireland. I literally it's did Ireland. swap these with... Yeah, well... And there are many islands. I know, but if I say Ireland, then you think I'm doing an Just accent. Just say Ireland. 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 R. R. Lind. Lind. Ireland. Oh God, it's so close and yet so far. It's so close. So, um, 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 I went to Ireland mm. and basically did a swapsy with Catherine's parents. They, mm. as soon as I landed in Dublin, they fucking batted out of us. They so did. Quick. My mom was like, I can't meet her. I'm not I can't, I'm I can't not do it. Her. I can't do it. So I landed in Dublin and then I was going to. Tullamore. Yes. I wish you'd stop saying that like it's a made up word every time. Well, it's only because one... To Tullamore. There was an old <laughs> Irish woman we were helping with her bags and she was like, and where are you going to? And we went Tullamore. And she went, ah, Tullamore. But she's the only person I heard say it. So we're not quite sure how you say it. She might have like had like a different thing going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. It's and hard to tell. Irish or like photos, struggling. The you know? Oh my God. <laughs> the photos are incredible. Um, and the pictures were amazing because it just looked like you were living your best life. Like you look like you'd finally found your home. Honestly, I live in the West Midlands. I love kids. that for you. It's a hundred percent. I just couldn't. I'd have to learn how to drive. How many ways of potatoes, types of potatoes did you eat? Tato's prawn cocktail crisps. Yeah. Which are a revelation. Yeah. Cheese and onions the best, but I respect you. Um, there were potatoes at the wedding. What kind? Irish wedding. Um, just roast potatoes. Okay. Any good? Yeah, really good. Okay, great. Then there was a potato salad the next day. Fuck yes. And then, that was that epic. Was, was, that, was hash- that mainly mayo? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was so incredible. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like really weird. They did like a Sunday, like the day after the wedding, sort of like buffet. Yeah. And it was just like 
barbecue, yes. potato salad, and then they just had one pot of chow mein. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't figure it uh, out. Just Ireland. one big pot of cold chow mein. Amazing, amazing. It was clearly like the Chinese takeaway was chucking it out that was in the same village, and they were like, that'll do. Yeah, <laughs> we'll take it, absolutely. And all I will say is I don't think they've had a tourist there in about 20 years in Tullamore. Yeah. Like, number one, no one quite knew what to do with us. Well, there's no reason you'd be there. It's not on the way to anywhere. It's yeah, not... everyone who we met at the wedding who was Irish was like, we've never been here before. Yeah, no, 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 no. you wouldn't be. Like, it's really, truly, there's, it's not a destination wedding. That is like a no, yeah. out of the way, random middle of the nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> I assume the wedding was were for people who were from there. No. What? No, Fifi's from Cork and Barry's from Dublin. It was sort of like a midway thing. What the fuck? No one knew what we were doing then. But no Dublin, one knew. Dublin and Cork are so much better than Tullamore. No, no, it wasn't even in Tullamore. It was in Tyrrell's Pass, which is what? 20 minutes drive from Tullamore. That's like saying, no, it's not in Wigan. It's in a 40 minute drive from Wigan. And you're like, <laughs> what? But Wigan's not in, what? It was oh amazing. My. But we basically, like, I'm not saying all Irish people are xenophobic. Wait, but wait. everyone I met was xenophobic. So wait, it's really... like a, do you mean towards the English? Yes. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, we accept your charge. But also, that's not xenophobia. That's legitimate anger. No, it was xenophobia. No, I know I how I it's... felt. I know how I felt. <laughs> I do. It's not xenophobic of your English. We got charged that's double just fair. in every taxi we got in. Compared to everyone else. It's the least you owe us. It's called reparations. Is that, that's what I was thinking. Is it because of the that famine you guys had? We had. You, you It wasn't us. Yeah, we you, didn't have it. You we were caused fine. We had this. food. Yeah, we you, had our food. food. You took our food. You then took grow more. <laughs> we I'm work. so sick of saying this. I don't understand. You could afford to fly to America to immigrate. No but... one was flying to America. They were getting on week-long ships and dying on them. Oh, the Titanic. You guys had a oh, lovely time on that one. Oh, sweet God. Down at the bottom doing a nice jig. I can't believe Irish Kate people hated loved, you. I can't us. believe Irish. They loved me. They fucking loved me. Yeah, you're kind of irresistible. Apart from I wasn't allowed to sing Come Out You Black and Tans at karaoke on the second day. Of course day. you were in. They, they didn't have it set up. Paul, Paul Sol was the karaoke man of the West Midlands and Ireland. And he didn't have Come Out You Black and Tans or Men Behind the Wire as an option for me. I'm pleased to hear it because you've so come back. I performed at acapella during the ceremony. No, you didn't. Come out, you black and tans. <laughs> Stop it. No, I didn't. No. I didn't perform it during the ceremony. But so, like, was the wedding fun? The wedding was really fun. It was just like getting there and back was just a nightmare. So like, right, the sticks of any country is always yeah, it's a nightmare. to get around. So we had options of two taxi drivers. Thomas, Thomas, and the other one, I can't remember his name. <laughs> I'm going to say Seamus because it could be right. Sure. It could be right, right? Sure. So Thomas had us the first day. It's a 20 minute journey. It takes us. What accent are you doing? It, Midlands Island. You're not though. Tullamore. You're not though. It's creepy, but it's, go on. Thomas was a bit creepy. Yeah, okay. So this is his, I mean, you didn't okay. meet him. Okay. We're not Thomas. All, oh my God. Okay. Took us. It's like every Irish accent all in one, but it doesn't make it, it's not specific enough. Took and us also- an hour to get to the wedding venue. This is a 20 minute drive. Mm. And like, obviously when you're going to a wedding, particularly the first day when it's like the ceremony starts, like it's not a mess around. Oh yeah, he like, screwed you. Ah, oh, girls, you got to see the castle. Like <laughs> so every road we went down, it was an extra sight. It was an extra sight. And we were trying to be polite, but also like, right, okay, Thomas, but now it's time to go there. The moment we got in the cab, it was like, you can smoke in the cars here, girls. So oh we my obviously God. were like, oh, maybe he wants to smoke. So he went, oh, okay. So we started rolling and then he was just chain smoking, oh taking us around some patron saints that were on the side of the road. And we were like, what's happening? Yeah, and the thing is though, like it's told him more. So what else was he going to show you if not the saints? It wasn't. Well, you could have got to the wedding. You could have got to the wedding. And yeah, okay. take us to our friend's <laughs> wedding that we flew over for. <laughs> this is all insane choices. <laughs> Madness. And then we got back in the evening with two Irish people who were staying at the same hotel as us in Tullamore. Okay. And it took fucking like 15 minutes of anything <laughs> and cost no no money, basically. And we arrived because they did all the talking. So I yeah. was like, right, tomorrow I'm doing a fucking accent. So I had it all oh, no, 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 so no, I could no, get, no. So I could no. get the cheaper journey. No. So I could get the cheap. It's not a big deal. But forgetting it's the fucking backwaters of Ireland. And that your accent's so dog shit. It's good. It's, it's dog good. shit. It's good. Don't be like like that 
Everyone said it was good last night, and you know that. The room full of English people who were terrified of you? They were super up for it. Yeah, they were. <laughs> they were too keen, if anything. I was doing the fiddly diddly D voice oh, from the God. South End. And then, <laughs> she loves it, it's fine. <laughs> I was... I was ready to do my accent and Francis was like, do it, babe, you can do it. And I was like, I fucking got this. Oh. And then up pulls our next taxi driver and he's like, yeah, the English girls. <laughs> uh, they all heard about you, of uh, course. Thomas told us about you. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds right. And we're like, okay, this one's, this is going to be okay. Because like, we've done the sights though, nope. right? And obviously Thomas has spoken about us mm. and the other couple, it turns out, had Thomas and that he was just telling them all about the English girls who smoked in his car. Oh <laughs> my like, God! Fucking, what the fuck <laughs> is happening? You made us! So then they get driven straight to the wedding again. They're in like a different car to us. By the time me and Francis get there, we've, we've gone on a journey that I can only describe the closest to death I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Right. Is this common in Ireland? Tell me. We're driving down a road. We've all, we're already not taking the main roads. Obviously, mm. Thomas has filled him in on the sights we've seen and not seen. Yeah. So he's got a couple <laughs> of other ones he'd love to whiz us past. <laughs> but we're so hanging from the night before, we yeah. can't quite give him the energy he wants us to give. Okay, as so he's tourists. not getting the reaction he wants. He's not getting the reaction he wants. Mm. So he tries to elevate it. Oh, wow, he escalates. Okay. Driving along, just freezes and breaks and goes, Girls. I haven't seen that gate open in 30 years. Which, just to be clear, if a gate hasn't been opened in 30 years, that is a sign not to go through that And gate. just to be clear, Irish people do pluralise. Uh, Helen's added no, a sort of no, dev he intro said 30 there. Year, 30 no, years. I just want to be clear. He said 30 years. But okay, so the gate's not been opened. I hear what I hear. I hear what I hear. <laughs> so the gate's been opened for and 30 And we're like, friend, second day of the wedding, please. But we've got to go. And he's like, that and gate's like, not been opened in 30 years. We have to go. So we fucking drive all the way up, turn around. Oh my God. The, we sorry, is the meter the... on? There's no meter. Ah! They just seem to, at the end of the journey, go, that'll be 10 hundred euro pounds from ye. Like, <laughs> you I don't think fucked. they have meters. I don't think they have meters in Ireland. They no, do have they meters. Don't. They, they do. Don't. They they do. Don't. But, no, they right, do. Thomas and Seamus had fuck all. They had fuck what all you needed to do was get in and say, how, before, you got, before you went to say, how much will this be? We got in and they went, the English girls. No, uh, and you need to say, great, how much will this be? Okay, that would have been really useful, mm. like last week. So sorry, yeah. If there's no meter, you say, hey, just check, how much is this going to be? And we'll go straight there, yeah? I find it hard travelling sometimes without people like you. Because yeah. me and Francis were just confused. Right. And trying to be polite. So he goes down this uh, this gated... Yeah, route. but the road, it, the further we got down the road, we couldn't see any other cars or people. Oh, Jesus. And so then I luckily, luckily have listened to so many murder podcasts. Yeah. Which I know we've discussed before, but like had my wits about me enough to be like, make it very clear that he knew I was taking an Instagram story where I like <gasps> got his taxi registration that yeah. was at the front and sent it on WhatsApp. But the only person that was open on my WhatsApp to do it whilst we were going on this road while Francis was trying to see if he had a gun on him oh was God. Sunil Patel who actively wants me dead <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like anyone's going to come and get our body Sunil would be like oh my god flatty because I've got a direct debit set up for yeah, rent no, for sure so, like, he for would sure. 100% just live his life <laughs> fucking like he wouldn't come get the body you know no god. and then we got there and we're like at the end and there was another gate and we must be like 200 miles off road at this point that, okay so let's be realistic what 200 meters yeah close yeah though. okay they both begin with an m okay <laughs> and then oh m yeah. m m just because your name's m and yeah. the letter that's well, lovely stuff and then you don't mc often do you not not very much no okay, no. okay. go on okay <laughs> apparently i get distracted <laughs> 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 so at the end of the road, there's another gate and he's like there was a convent there was a convent here and obviously then my mind goes like oh like how many dead babies and then it's just like tense and he's like get out girls and I was like what do you mean get yeah. out I don't want to get out of the car I want to go but obviously we do because in those moments you just go like oh this I don't know Helen you're going to die out of good manners someday I know and I know the rules like don't be rude stay alive yeah. them's the rules yeah but I <laughs> We got Stop out politeness. and he was like, climb that stone. And there was a stone again. It's like a broken wall. And we could see like an old church building in the background. So like there was something. He was like, there's an abandoned graveyard. 
over this. And I was thinking, oh, good. Oh, God, Alison's- your accent is still the most worrying part. No, because Alison Spittle sent me a couple of sites because she's from that area, which says a lot, I think. I mean, and- it says where she's in London now. <laughs> But she was like, oh, there's some really good sites there. There's a graveyard with um, like wild goats in it. And I thought, oh, sick. I'd love that. Like dead people and goats. Like what a day out yeah, for Helen. Yeah, sounds great. But it wasn't the goats one. It was just an abandoned graveyard. And we were both climbing this stone, looking behind us. Like, are we going to turn around? He's got his dick out or a knife. Oh, sweet Jesus. But he didn't. Nice. He just wanted to show us more sites. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is, if you go to Ireland, go along with it because you probably will just <laughs> no, see don't, stuff. That's not the advice. I, I would think say, just go no. for it. Just also, go you for pay it. through the nose for it. Well, there's a graveyard with chickens in it near my house. You can come sometime. Why? What is that? Like an Irish thing to have? It's in like... London. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know where that came from. Wow, it seems like really annoying. Wow, that seems a pretty offensive assumption. Where's the graveyard with chicken? Well, I can't tell you on pod where I live. Yeah, but like, I mean, you're in North London. And I'm in South London. Yeah, so like, in North London. Oh my god. Do you want to go after this? I'd love to. Let's do it. Should we cancel our guys? Oh my God, fuck I mean, it. I love Jen, but seriously. No, forget it. Let's do it. I think she it. would be more up for the chickens as Me well. Me too. I think she had a great time. <laughs> oh my God. So while you were in Dublin and Tullamore getting your you. like mind opened Thank to you. the possibilities. Thank you. Of the I Midlands. also Irish danced at the wedding. Of course you did. No one asked for it. But. No. And how, by the way, how was Dublin? <gasps> so good mm-hmm. we had Japanese food and then had pints with Fifi in a pub in Harold's at Cross at Yamamori where'd you have Japanese food Yamamori I don't know what, what was the restaurant Temple called? Bar oh for fuck's sake why you know you cannot complain about being ripped off for taxis and then go to Temple Bar for dinner because the fans had never been, been like, to Dublin before I'm going she to wanted Leicester to see Square the for dinner statue. she wanted to see the tit statue do you mean, mean Molly Malone yeah the one with the golden tits Oh, sweet God. Okay. And then you went to? Tarot's Cross. Nice. For a drink. For drinkies, yeah. But that was the first time I heard Irish accents I couldn't understand was there. Yeah. Uh, absolutely no idea. Uh, they went, so obviously, like, the people were asking, oh, like, where are you from? Where are yeah. you from? And we were just, like, outside. And then we said London. They were like, to who you follow? And I was thinking, oh, that must be. And Francis looked confused. And I was like, South London. And they were like, ah, you follow. And I was like... Um, Say a football team. <laughs> and that's it. They wanted a football team. Yeah. To how you follow. Yeah. To how you follow. Uh, <laughs> just to be clear, your accent is the same for all of these people. It's just no, different paces no. and it's really it confusing. How you follow. No oh. teeth. No teeth. None oh my of them. God. You're so rude. You're rude. <laughs> wow. How but they rude. wanted a football team. Well, you basically went to Ireland and were incredibly disdainful of my culture. My parents no. came to London in awe. Absolutely <laughs> in awe. You sent me pictures of them oh smiling God, at they're different so sides. Cute. The one of them both with Paddington Bear. There's, I know. Oh, <laughs> I, God. I was munted in Ireland, like oh, hanging out my ass, <laughs> like shit out four days of food in 10 minutes. Oh my God. And Catherine was like, they've been in love for 40 years. Here's them with Paddington Bear. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god they can't so my parents have been here twice well my mom has been here this is her second time since I moved to London yeah so, yeah yeah because she used to have um, I mean she has lots of issues with mobility but she got a new knee and she was like I'm taking it to London I'm saving my baby so we're moving so she can walk so much better and everything's great and we had um, the most wonderful time and yeah. they just but you know you know what it is is to like bring people to like any restaurant and they're like this is the best restaurant we've ever <laughs> been to and then you go to the next place and they're like no this is the best restaurant and but it was just so you sweet. are really good at picking restaurants and food like thank that is you. one of your skills thank you I just also I think I'm good at deciding what kind of vibe somebody would like and they mm-hmm. I took them to places where they could sit on the water where they had lots of space where it was quiet but they enjoyed the food and it was just oh they loved it and it, and it was also just like a real treat to have them there because yeah. I think like I think there was a time with my OCD where having like a guest for that many days would have stressed me out Are you so kidding? much. You yeah. used to get angry when your parents would sit in your flat and enjoy the space. Yeah, no, I, I, and yeah, and then if I think about that too much, obviously that drives yeah. me wild. But um, no, how but they, dare you make yourself at home? Exactly. <laughs> I did have an entire bit on that. It was great. Why don't they visit more? But, <laughs> um, but it was so nice, and we had the loveliest time. And then, um, so we're having this idyllic time. It's, they came for Easter Sunday. Yeah. I showed my dad this Protestant church that has this huge tacky gold Jesus outside. He ha- loved hating it. Okay. Um, and we had the best time. Why? I thought he loves Jesus. Yeah, but like there's something so specifically tacky to doing a gold Jesus. My dad's like more of a socialist Catholic who's like, 
if you have all that gold, why wouldn't you just give it to the poor rather than... Oh, God, they've always got a problem now. I know, right, I know. But anyway, so... <laughs> but, like, he, he's not, like, a big fan of the Vatican for the same reason. I don't know why I'm speaking on his behalf. The oh, point, in, in Rome? As in, I think he thinks they could give some of their wealth away. I love the Vatican because there's nuns that run a shop at the top if you climb up, but they're all, like, 200 years old. And it's like, how did you get up here? Oh, interesting. How did you get here? I assume they live up there because there's no way they're doing the knees, like... No, there's no way. Or maybe there's a lift? Anyway. If there's a lift, lift, I'd like to know. Secret lift. I'd like to know. So my parents come. We're having a nice time. And on Monday morning, uh, by the way, the only thing is like, as when you have your parents over any time, I was never alone, right? Like they were in my bedroom sleeping there. I was in the spare room, which I'm very lucky to have a little office. It's good because you're so easy going. I know. It's super chill. (laughs) Super chill. And I hate being alone. And um, so we, they're like, you know, they're awake before me. Yeah. So they were there the second you woke up and like, I have one Lou and all that jazz and that's fine. And and then um and then, you know, they just they they want to talk all the time, which I adore. But I had and like my mom like would come to the loo with me whenever I went to the loo when we were out. And actually it was very wait, 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 wait. Your mum came to the loo with you. Well, she'd be like, well, if you're going, I'll go. You don't need help wiping, do you? No, 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 no. no. Okay. But she'd just like, she'd go if I was going. Like, okay, right. Just yeah, like yeah. a cute gals thing. But also okay. like, what I'm saying to you is there were four minutes, four minutes where my dad had gone down for a nap, which by the way, he does on his holidays. Oh, I didn't notice this about like, so my dad's at okay. that age where when he's holidaying, he just, when he slows down, he needs to sleep because he works so hard. Yeah. Right? So he, he was like a baby. You'd take him for a feed, then a walk, then a water, then he'd need another nap. And it was so cute. So he was That's on... normal for holidays, isn't it? Yeah, so he's on his noon na- nap. I go to the loo. I leave my mother alone for maybe three and a half minutes. I come back. Big poo. No, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Some of us wash our hands, Helen. And so, bacteria. <laughs> I thought, no, stop it. So then I... <laughs> I come back out and I heard I heard from the loo I heard like some squawking on the street you know like teenage girls yeah, like, yeah, yeah, rah, 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 rah. come out to the living room it's not they're not squawking they're screaming <gasps> a man is just stabbed outside <gasps> my house I know oh my god I didn't know this what the fuck yeah and my mom's just watching it and she's like uh, I just saw a man be stabbed and okay first of all let me be clear about the important thing is the man was okay Good. They didn't catch the guy who did it, but he like walked himself to the gurney. They took care of him. We ch- I checked in on the like website to make sure that you can check that the person's mm-hmm. okay. He's okay. So it's okay for us to talk about how my mother reacted. Oh my god! <laughs> Which was to a basically pull up a chair <gasps> and watch this entire thing, and b. She watches far too much crime because, like, obviously she had a shocked reaction, but her way of dealing with the shock was to, like... Learn more. <laughs> yeah, and, like, hypothesize about what the dynamic was between the stabber and the stabby. Oh, create and, like, the prelude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, like, just so, like... she Honestly, the whole day... I Maybe it's a generational thing, but, like, the whole day I was like, are you okay? Do you have, like... You must have, like, PTSD. Do you have trauma? Are you, do you want to, like, stay in? Do you need to be sheltered? Do you need to bath? Do you, like... What do you need? Do you, are you okay? Like, do you want some hot tea? Do you want... My mom was like... I'm not the one who got stabbed. Like she's I'm having like the best day of my life. She's actually. like she's like he's the victim, not me. And I was like I just generally generationally I'm like e, you probably gonna you want to process this. You need to talk this through. And she's like Rosé, and you're just like. Oh. <laughs> but I actually have so much respect for it because she did see a terrifying thing and was just like that's not a about me like she didn't her instinct wasn't to go like this is my trauma her inst- I don't know and I think doesn't... there's something very good about that generation of just watching and looking and letting it happen and then being like oh okay so now I know more so like there's nothing yeah. mystery there's no running away because yeah. we had like when I was growing up like similar thing like an incident next door yeah don't know exactly what it was yeah. but an incident police ambulance yeah my mum Exactly the same thing, yeah. but it was night time, so she got to do that perfect thing. You know, they, they, people call it curtain twitching in the suburbs, yeah. which is bullshit. Any woman worth her salt doesn't curtain twitch. She sits in the room with the lights off and watches out in the dark yeah. where they can see everything. <laughs> if you touch a curtain, people sense movement. Yeah. And I'm fucking sick of people getting that wrong. Yeah, never close them and you don't have to twitch them. There you go. Yes. Oh my God, we should so put that on tea towels for all of them. Right? <laughs> It's just that blank sitting there looking yeah. at you. Yeah. God, you can drink. tell we're both from the suburbs. We're, no, just, no. Like, we're just like, what, do you think there's always something good on television? Fuck that. Let's go. I had two TV channels growing up. <gasps> Come on. Let's Only go. two? Until I was 17. Okay, we had four until I was 12. And oh, then we okay. Got there, was th- there was three at one point. There was three from when I was probably 13. Good, good. Yeah. And then um, 
And there's one in Irish, which I don't think really counts, but... Oh, well, I speak Irish now. Oh, yeah, of course you do. Oh. There's, um, on the trains, they always say something, here and to, which sounds, it's like, that's the word that they always say, but it's not here and to, it's an Irish word. It doesn't feel like that's true. Okay. Also, great, <laughs> really quick thing for the Pokemon fans, Ireland, incredible for Pokemon, because all of their famine memorials are Pokemon stops and gyms. What? Incredible. What? So if you go around, you don't have to learn anything about the famine. I was going to say, how did you not? learn anything about so you spin it and then you get to send a gift to someone with like a pikachu going oh yeah and it's just like the famine dublin and there's like statues of people walking along really thin it's mad it's mad you're a piece of shit I, well this happens in london as well the king's cross memorial and um the seven seven memorial in hyde park amazing pokemon gems incredible what is wrong with you Inc- i don't fucking register them but what is wrong who plans that by the way also that's gross google Google should do better. Because there's sites on Google. Fucking hell. That is grim. <laughs> they really want us to go to Dublin together. That's so grim. So I can give you Helen's tour of Dublin. Oh, please. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Did you go to the Leprechaun Museum? No, because you didn't message me about it. But I, I can't remember if I went or not. I think I did when I was 18 with my friends Libby. There's really big furniture in there and you stand by it and you look tiny. How tiny would I look, though? Tiny. Really? It's huge. Really? Yeah. I didn't see any leprechauns. Okay, well, you didn't go to the Leprechaun Museum, so how are you supposed to? I, I just know, just like a short Irish person somewhere. <laughs> you I mean, you were all pretty, like, tiddly. But... We are, because we were hungry for so many years. Now then. Were you hungry too? I thought it ended. It did. My yeah. point is it's like a famine culture. Because the spa was full. Like... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. the spa is fine. And also, but we did charm all the Irish people. I got free scones. Where'd you get free scones? Well, Francis got free scones, but I ate them. Where? Tullamore. Nice. Were they good? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I bet they were. Come to Dublin. I'd love to take you around Dublin. Can we go to Harold's Cross again? And when someone goes, Terry Fella, I can be like, Older Shot Town FC. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, we won't be going there if we. Oh. No. We'll come, you can come to Mass. I want to be a D4 head. A D4 head. Oh my God. You're, we're neither of us are posh enough to be D4 heads. I am. But we're not. I'm middle class. No, but they're not middle class. Oh. They're like proper rich. I'll take you to Don Leary for an ice cream at Teddy's. Oh, is that where you took Sophie Juca and she yeah. fell over? No, why would I well, go there? No, I, won't, I won't push you. You pushed her. I, <laughs> we all saw the video. You I tried did, to drown Juca. I didn't. I was very, very kind and considerate after she fell, like all mothers of Munchausen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon you've got Munchausen's by proxy? No, but apparently there's a new podcast coming out about it. Oh, also a sidebar. Um, no, I don't reckon I do. Um, I have enough friends with actual uh, chaos. I just have friends like you and then I don't need to have Munchausen's. I don't need that much care uh-huh. anymore. Since I emailed Pension B and they emailed back and I ignored it for three weeks. What's Pension B? A, co- a pension company. Can I do that? I emailed them and then I've set up an account, but I've done nothing since then. And will they merge all the ones you've used? Yes, before? apparently that's okay, what they do. That's interesting. So like, why are we sponsoring? Pen- we're not. We're not sponsored by. And you know what? We don't have time because we're not going to be able to put this on the part where. Um, say you emailed a pension place. I emailed a pension place. Right. What kind? Uh, one that consolidates all your pensions. <gasps> Oh my god! Uh, I, want I to don't do that. know if I've ever had a pension. Either do I, but I'd like to find out. This thing, so I need to call them up and be like, when I was working in a bakery serving bread, yeah. did I have a pension? Because I think when I tempt in property, I'm sure I must have been paying into a pension. This is the thing. So there must be, and then they give put me them my all money, together, and then they also like. Like give you options because we need to set one up ourselves. There's no one set up for oh, us. Oh come on! So then, but also like, so basically, having a pension means that when you're older, you're not as cold because you can pay for heating. But I was gonna get real fat anyway. Love that for That's you. That's my plan. When? When? The second someone agrees to marry me. The second. The second. I'll marry you. Do you wanna go? Binge? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I honestly, I just want to get real comfy and just love my life. I want to bake all the time. Should we plan our old life in the extras this week? I feel like we should do that. I love that for us. Let's do that. Let's, let's do, do that, that in the extras. Let's, yeah. let's bring on our amazing guest and then we'll deal with like old Catherine and help. Okay, I also like, I have a need to qualify that I think people will be listening and being like, Catherine's making it sound like being fat is a bad thing. No, 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 no. No, it's I, a great thing. I am excited to revel. You're so much warmer. Every seat's more comfy. It's yes. incredible. It's a really good place. Also, I would love to just one time have tits. For my new spouse. Oh, I don't know. I've seen some people get fat and didn't get the tits. No, and it is devastating for them. No, come on. How is that possible? It is devastating. Come on. It is possible. Come on. Have you not seen them? 
That's not fair. I want, I'm only, what? Okay, we'll discuss this later. We'll okay, discuss it later. Okay, that's on like, the extras. Let's talk with our amazing guest. Oh my God. So this is really exciting because our guest has also just been to Ireland. Um, mm-hmm. Has been to the Father Ted Museum. Did you see this on? Don't. <laughs> I saw, I'm, I'll tell Jenna all about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, well, what? Well, um, our guest is Jen Ives. I'm such a big fan. And she's got great tits. She, oh, I mean, she has amazing tits. And she's a very funny comedian. So let's get talking to her. It's Jen, Jen Ives. Hello, Jen Ives. Hello. Hi, Jen Ives. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Hi. Jen Ives. We're so excited you're wow. here. Wow. <laughs> I was just saying before to Jen, I thought we'd met before, but actually, no, I've just like crept up on her on the internet and in the world. Well, you've never like, met IRL. No, we no. met digitally yeah. for the lockdown. But I just thought we were friends because I decided we were, which is not the same at all. And we were I'm MSN sorry. friends. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. What's your guys' emails? <laughs> oh, my one at the time was glitteryfairygirl at hotmail.com. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Groovy chick 99 Sleeping Beauty 731 at hotmail.com. <laughs> We're trash. I love it. I love What's it. What's there were 730 other Sleeping Beauties <laughs> out there. And I was like, number one, please. Like, like, dozing girl. I know. Because guys, they see us dead and they fucking love it. Does she have a pulse? No. She's perfect. <laughs> I'm bringing I'm... back necrophilia in a big way, oh, baby. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Yeah. Good. good. You've also just been to Ireland. I have been to Ir- Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I did, is that okay. Yeah, I don't look at Better me. than what you do. I got told off for saying Ireland. But it is an island. It's the Emerald Oil. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh, please stop it. But you were in the north, not with the fiddly diddly dees in the south, I was weren't in Dublin. you? Yeah, the fun place. No, Dublin is the south. Yeah. Well, east. No, no, let's, right. Let's just say it's Northern east. Ireland doesn't then, exist. I wasn't there. What? And then well, we're not gonna say Dublin Dublin's is there. in the north of Ireland. No, it's not. It's in the east. Wow. As someone who was called a tan when I was there, um, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was... Oh, it was, from the song, Come Out You Black and Tan? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. What, what did you do to cause that? <laughs> oh, no, it was a friendly ribbing. Okay, fine. Ooh, okay, yeah. fine. Ooh, but I did get an egg thrown at me while I was there, though. Excuse me, what? Yeah. Hi, I'm sorry. Egg. Not to put it down... You don't have to... It wasn't your... Was no, it? no, it is. It is. It is. No, I am sorry. Why? I don't know. It was like a... It was like near the end of the trip. Everything was lovely. I don't want to put a downer on it straight away. Even okay. though I just did. <laughs> don't worry. I, I nearly but, um, got killed in Tullamore. So oh, like, you're you? fine. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fine. We were going to some... Have you been to Dublin? Yeah, oh. I, I'm from there. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I actually know quite a lot about it now. I'll kind of educate you in a minute. Yeah, but, um, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to take on a tour of the Pokemon <laughs> stops at Temple Bar, so don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't go to Temple Bar. I was told not correct, to. Correct, correct. Yeah. I went to Grogan's. No. Yeah. Okay, somebody did Dublin right. Go yeah. on. Well, I was staying with a Dubliner, so that's See, quite good. That's how it's done. Okay. They're anyway, actually we, called dubs. Ex- let her explain the egg. <laughs> we were going to a pub that's like a, um, you'll probably know it. It's like you have to knock on the door and they let you in and it's really nice. Where Ed Sheeran tables. hangs out. Oh, I don't know. I didn't see him. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. but they have like pool tables and stuff. It's I think I know cool. what you mean. It's like tropical themed. It's cool. Oh, maybe I don't know what you maybe mean. Maybe it's not tropical themed. They had plants. You're um, so cool. <laughs> But anyway, we were on the way there, and then there were these boys. Oh. Sort of, I don't know what youths? you Yeah, you. Okay, like teenagers or younger? Like teenagers, I think. But yeah. They, but they, so I was facing forwards, obviously. Ah, uh, hello. And then they were like <laughs> over here. Yeah. But then the egg hit me from like front on. I'm so Oh, what, a tummy hit egg? Yeah, like went and... Oh, not even boob for fun? Like... No, it just had yolk on my arm. And anyway, <gasps> oh, um, hey. but I blamed them. But it did come from over here, so it was like a JFK situation. I couldn't figure out exactly oh, where. Oh yeah. my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> That's the no worst. One, there was you don't no know one who to there. go for. Yeah, exactly. But I am sorry that happened. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm gonna just make sure that you are. Should I take this um, off? Like, what sort of egg was it? Quails or full duck <laughs> or for a chicken? I don't. I, I only saw it in pieces. Oh yeah. Well, it's not. You would have known if it was ostrich. You would have done. It definitely wasn't that. Okay. And it, yeah. <laughs> But it was fine. It didn't put too much of a damper on, on the whole thing. Okay. It, was, it was nice. Okay. Did you still go to the bar with yeah, egg and of your... course I did. Oh, come on. <laughs> what, you're not going to have a good time? I went time? to Brogan's, which I was told is an IRA bar. Is that true? I could neither confirm Were you guys still doing I... IRA? Are you still in the North? I, are we? No, I'm not. Why am I... <laughs> <laughs> With this. Um, it, yeah, it still exists if that's your question. Oh, good for you guys. No, not you. I've been running guys, a while. Not us guys. I've been running a while. I think I aligned myself there with it. The, okay, look. There's a lot of graffiti that says IRA. Uh, oh, that you see I just thought it was a man called Ira who was very busy. <laughs> <laughs> Ira Glass has been going just, around yeah. Dublin. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a wonderful show, This American Life. You if know, you're, you're if not you don't like this, listen to that. You're not yeah, wrong. You can find it on any podcast. <laughs> a very different energy, actually. I um, once listened to a This American Life. And, um, you know, like sometimes they do like, they're usually a sort of like documentary episodes. And they sort of like talk to people and yeah. like discuss like a real life story, a real life event. What are you selling, This and American Life? Every now and again. Do you own shares? Every now and again, they do like a fictional story, but they only let you know like at the beginning of it very oh, quickly. That, all right, so I heard one that was fictional, <laughs> but I thought it was all true. I and went it was to called, the moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the horse girls of somewhere somewhere i would have listened to that too. yeah <laughs> and it was about <laughs> and i genuinely believed it and i spent about two months googling it before i asked anyone about it and it was about people who loved horses so much they wanted to be horses helen. and they had to go to this run helen and live like horses that sounds like a metaphor but they yeah slowly... i know i'm wondering what for they don't like i don't know and they, they, but they, they got their tail and then they'd become a horse, Shut but like actually a horse and they could like run. But part of it was they would have to say goodbye to everyone and become a horse. And you didn't Because eventually Annie. they lose their voice and they can only neigh. And I was like, this is, an, this is insane. Why is no one talking about this? It's so irresponsible to have like a largely factual podcast and then just throw something in there. I know, because like thickos like me was only that, tune in five minutes in. It's irresponsible if it feels like the stories are possibly like credible but I think what yeah. they've done there quite smartly is make it such an incredulous story that nobody would think it was factual two months of googling except <laughs> it's so like I wanted did, to go though. I was like I want to see these people yeah. becoming horses it sounds incredible I'd Please. love to ride one you know yeah. <laughs> Wow. No? It's like what the news used to do on April Fool's Day, right? Where they'd be like, oh, there's this tree with spaghetti coming out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then people like me were like, we've got to get in the car. <laughs> we've got to get to Runcorn. <laughs> Incredible. I remember one year with April Fool's Day on this morning, they released um, zero calorie water. And okay. like everyone nice. lost nice. their minds. They're having women calling up being like, where did we get it? <laughs> And then at the end, they were like April Fools, and you could just, you know, you could just hear women over the country going, "Oh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> that would trying. have been great." I'm just trying, <laughs> for God's sake. Um, here's my question because I asked Helen it too. Um, what were your top three types of potato you consumed in Ireland? Okay, well, um, um, well, I had chips. Nice. Where? Uh, <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Jen. <laughs> no, Americanized bullshit powdered potato is not what I asked you about. Okay. Next. Um, You're a culture vulture. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I had a tato. Which crisps. flavor? They were like a, so like this, I didn't realize there were so many tatoes. It was yeah. like a different, it was like a tato, but then it had, a, it had another name. It was like ridged. Okay, yeah, yeah. And what flavor? Cheese and onion. Nice. They Are were, you good? Lovely. Yeah, they were good. Yeah. I did prawn cocktail. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Interesting. I don't think I had any other potatoes. I didn't what? eat a potato or anything. What? No I had mash? Chinese. What kind I love of having a Chinese. Did either abroad. of you have a spice bag? Yes. No, but I've heard of a spice bag. Yeah, a spice bag. Mm. If you I've don't know, is um a cultural bastardization that has occurred in Ireland, wherein Chinese takeaways put a meat, sometimes multiple meats, yeah. and a potato, and sometimes multiple different types of carbs into a plastic bag yeah. with whatever the selection of spices is that yeah. day. Does it have to be a plastic bag? Can oh, yeah. A carrier bag? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You'd bring your own carrier <laughs> bag. Mine said Euroland on the yeah. side. <laughs> <laughs> they shake it up and then they give it to you like it's, oh, that's an appropriate way to serve food. It's incredible. I mean, catch on. I mean, people didn't eat out of buckets until like the kernel came along, right? But oh my god, I was had... like, where are these bucket places? <laughs> yeah. They're right, yeah. Have like, you ever wanted to use a food bag? Because we're not uh, not a food bag. Um, like a horse, a feed bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. speaking of horses, when I was at um, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but when I was in primary school, like I had an obsession with feed bags, and I <laughs> what? I really wanted to have my lunch. Are you popular you know at school, Jen? <laughs> not massively. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Were you just like this lunch is too inefficient? Well, I think I think I saw like a documentary, a documentary <laughs> like a thing about how horses eat, and it was like yeah, you put your grains in, you put an apple in, and I was just like that would be great if there's like a peanut butter sandwich in there, and, like a cheese. But didn't you have a lunchbox? Yeah, but it didn't feel as good. No, it's it's not quite the same. Wow. <laughs> Did you get a feedback? No. Okay. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Helen's like, and then there's still time. It's a tricky lunch break yeah. at school. I regard as following me around. Down. <laughs> <laughs> everyone sits down, opens their lunch boxes, and Jen just gets strapped in <laughs> by two dinner ladies. <laughs> One to make sure she doesn't kick back. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, it has caught on. The spice bag is a phenomenon mm. in Ireland. Incredible. Which though. is really sad. I think it's like actually managed to pass by my favourite aspect of Irish takeaways, which is the three in one or five in one. What's that? The three in one is fried rice, chips, curry sauce. That's it just in a big like silver Tupperware thing. It's oh, I divine. Did have, I did I did have what? chips with the curry sauce uh, in a in a silver Tupperware from a takeaway, China, yeah, like from, a, from a like a chipper takeaway. Yeah, okay, not yeah. the same, but I hear you. Wait, wait. Okay. So you get rice, a layer of rice, a layer of chips, a layer of curry sauce. That's rice three and chips in one. Is nice, so good. So do you hard, bounce back from thing. that famine like no one's business? <laughs> <laughs> we have a everyone's carbon just in case. <laughs> 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 Apologies, continue, Miss. Yes, <laughs> merci beaucoup. So then, a five in one is that, but with two added mystery meats. Mystery. They have Define to be mystery. mystery meat. So it'll be like pigeon. Maybe pork. Maybe oh, okay. chicken. Maybe beef. Just kind of depends on the day. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Pretty exciting stuff, actually. A lot of jeopardy in our Chinese takeaways, but it's always a bit of fun. So I've never seen a spice bag here, but I am aware that they have them like in the north a little bit now. Oh really? More more. Yeah, because I watch a lot of like food. Wait, is bloggers. that a different kind yeah. of spice? It's like I don't know what spice. Oh, that was is. a drug joke. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. All I right. didn't get it either. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I've got food on the brain, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking about you with the feedback. I'm so distracted. Are you both just hungry now? Yeah. Can we focus? I'm just thinking about, like, horses. <laughs> Jen I. Yeah. You're going to Edinburgh Comedy Festival. Yeah. What's your show called? It's called Peak Trans. Uh, I'm doing Great it. Name. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm doing it with um, Objectively Funny. So it's nice. at yeah, the yeah. Gilded Balloon. Yes. What every, time are you at? Every day at 7 o'clock gorgeous what is it your debut kind of okay i don't know <laughs> yeah something. well you can say whatever you want it to be let's say yes let's say yes <laughs> oh okay, my god great. love that for okay, you cool. love that for you too <laughs> and um what's it about let's say no Let's say no. <laughs> yeah, then the pressure's off. Because yeah. actually, yeah. I'm going for best newcomer again. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but apparently right, I'm cool. not eligible. Oh, but okay. I'm like, I want another Just shot. Just give it a go. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. Just yeah. keep yeah. saying you're a baby. I'm like a you baby. I'm do. brand new. I'm only four. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's about, like, lots of things. It's just, like, a general hour of stuff. But Great. it's mainly about, sort of, like, trans stuff in the UK. But it's funny. And it's not, it's not like... Like depressing or anything. Also, no, it sounds fun. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Also, nobody assumed that. I, I mean, uh, I would have. <laughs> oh no, to be clear, but all, I, but then all I... Edinburgh comedy shows <laughs> yeah. sound like the worst hour yeah, of all time. Yeah. The thing is, I was like, I, maybe I don't assume that because my debut was like, I'm the bisexual daughter of a Catholic deacon and I have a mental health disorder. All <laughs> oh, right. So I'm, not, I'm like, oh, just the one thing. No, That's mine's fine. like, I creep out and I'm like, hi. That <laughs> <laughs> kind of energy. You know? Please tell me how you, you're starting I your show. Can be. Just silence. <laughs> Please tell me that this, is there any of New York Jen in? No. Oh, are you going to do another show with New York Jen in? On the, on like a, a night show? One day, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone wants it, if, if there's a demand I want it. For it there's a demand I'll, for it. Yeah, then I will. I think you should be doing a, a late show of New York Jen. I would love to. With a feed bag on. Yeah. Oh my God, yes. Um, <laughs> but can you tell the that, listeners then. what New York Jen is? So it's me. Uh, but with a New York accent. <laughs> so fucking fun, though. But lots of like different jokes and just silliness and just it's joyous. Uh, kind of, it's joyous. <laughs> more of a. Do can you... I hang out with New York Jen sometime? Um, only if we go to New York. Oh my god! I want to go to New York. Go. Yeah. They've got a bigger Bubba Gump shrimp there than they do in London. They do, and they do the accents with such commitment. Yeah. So what is that? Because I've seen that in Leicester. Is it a restaurant? Is it a shop? You fucking moron! What? It's everything. It's, it's, it's a restaurant. It's a shop. It's a sensory experience. A museum yeah. as well. They do the accent. Everybody does the accent. No, and if you don't. want they to get do. your waiter's they attention, they you have a sign no, no, that says no, no. run, forest run, and no. they ask you Forrest Gump trivia. No, this feels inappropriate. Helen, am I wrong? <laughs> and do they, they do shrimp and all the flavors they list. It's incredible. In the film. It's incredible. Okay. Well, I don't eat shrimp, but should I go? Then no. No, what? Be respectful. (laughs) That's a crazy thing to do. I like going there in the the States because, as with all restaurants, um, but particularly that one, for some reason, 
everyone in the, in America likes to explain to me their Irish heritage. Um, yeah. But then trying to get them, having them try to explain it in the accent that isn't naturally theirs. They're doing too much thinking. It's so fun. It really comes the narrative. <laughs> it's Americans so love Ireland, don't they? They sure do. They, do. they sure do. Here's my question. Uh, back to your show. And we don't have to talk about this if you don't want to. But um, when I was doing my debut and I was like, I'm going to tell my little queer narrative. <laughs> do you feel under pressure to talk about one thing? Well, no, because I've kind of put that on myself for this show. Like, I've done, like, an hour before, like, elsewhere. Not, like, a debut, but, like, yeah, 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 yeah. right. It's not a debut. <laughs> oh, no. If you have, if, have you done an hour at the Fringe before? Um, yeah, I did it. I did it last year at the, like, Mini One. Oh, And then I've yeah. done, like, Brighton and but that was... Hastings and loads of other Okay. But was before. it... Was it billed as like your hour or is it work in progress last year? It was like a work in progress. Then you are, yeah. then this is your yeah. debut, okay, bitch. Then. Jeez. Is then. All right, fine. great. <laughs> this doesn't have to be in the podcast. That's just me. No, it's yeah, fine. What was the question again? Like, do you feel under pressure to have to oh, talk about? No, because I kind of wanted to. Because, Good. but I, but for my next thing, I won't probably talk about it at all. But like for this one, I did want to because I just feel like it's been really intense over the past couple of years. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna talk about it I guess it has been really interesting but like we don't want to give away yeah. any spoilers just go see Jen's show I die at the end <laughs> <laughs> but she she just performed the last section as a ghost yeah. with yeah. a New York accent that's a pretty good idea feedback. actually <laughs> that would be amazing would enjoy would cut that out I'm using that yeah I love oh, it damn it no 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 I'm... are you directing <laughs> Jen <laughs> I always like to provide my own beeps are you directing Jen's show now what's happening oh, I haven't been asked Ask objectively funny. Oh. <laughs> the straightest, most cis woman who's ever existed. Oh, Hello. being straight. <laughs> She's too into it. No, I think <laughs> she I, is. I, I think that I'm not like uber straight because I'm so like. You're culturally gay. I'm cultural. Am I? No. Am I? No. I don't accept. You're not invited. I think. I, <laughs> If to identify with a different group, I'd be closest to gay men. Yeah, I think that's for fair. sure. Like as far as like okay. musical theatre vibes go, yeah. and just sort of like yeah, they all like that, like that's like adult Disney fans with like yeah. crossover eating disorders. Like I'm in that group of gay. Sure. Do you know sure. what day it is today? What day is it today? <gasps> it's Lesbian Day. It is. It's les- is it? It's Lesbian Visibility Day. Which is... I um, see you! <laughs> I see you! I don't think there's a lesbian in the room, is there? <laughs> I no. see you! I don't think there's any lesbians here. you failed the test. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that's crazy. No, sorry. But there'll be one watching. I see you. <laughs> yeah, we see you co-opting the day for... Man and Sue are watching. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are they lesbians? What? One is. Sue is. Sue is. <laughs> Sue is, yeah. Mel's we, thinking about Let's have a fun game where we just list lesbians. <laughs> the sad thing about Lesbian Visibility Day is uh, how much it's currently being co-opted to drive a narrative of anti-transness, uh, which is so fun. That's Isn't just that every cute? day. I'm not bothered about Wait, why uh, does Lesbian Visibility Day do that? Oh, just because it's like they a ch- hate us. Oh, <laughs> oh no, you hate me. No, all lesb- In fact, most lesbians. I don't. Let's be clear. Most the lesbians. Most yeah. lesbians don't. There's just a loud, small group who do and love any chance to be like, "This is another reminder that." <laughs> and you're like, "Fuck off." I actually have a lot of lesbian friends. Not to brag. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad to hear it. I'm I so. Have a lot of lesbian friends <laughs> for hikes. I have been on a hike yeah. with lesbian friend, actually. <laughs> to the Downs in Brighton. Her name's Stella. Gorgeous. Shout out to Stella. Oh, oh what a gay Hi, name. Stella. Hi, Stella. Nice I to love see the name you. Stella. It always makes it. me think of like, Stella! Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Modern Family. Uh, yes, yeah, from yes, Modern Family. Yes. In Modern Family, they go, Stella! Because they lose the dog called Stella. It's a really yeah. important epic scene. I think scene. it's referencing a book. Yeah, but, I yeah. think it's referencing a play, maybe. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. What or play? a meme. Oh, no, it might be by Tennessee I think it's Williams. a meme. Oh, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lesbian, by the way, Tennessee Oh, Williams. Tennessee Williams is a lesbian. <laughs> yeah. oh my Brilliant God, nice. stuff. Didn't know that. Love, is it a I? I'm learning a lot. I thought it was a drink. How exciting. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, I'm going on tour. What oh am I doing? Oh my god, she's going on tour. She's going on a tour for the first time ever. So cute. I know. Little baby Helen out on the road by herself. By herself. Yeah, I'm going to be running up and down the motorways to save money on trains. <laughs> <laughs> Just me on the M6 holding my tits like nearly there. <laughs> We're past Dewsbury. I don't you know if that exists. You can use some like indicators. Oh my god. 
I mean, if you do want to see me on the motorway 100%, just look out on the M6, M1 and M3. If not, I will be at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, then going back to Edinburgh, because apparently I can't plan at all without going to one city and then the same city the next month, even though everyone's already been like loads of comedy. So Edinburgh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh Glasgow, Aberystwyth, Maidenhead, Norwich, Bristol, Manchester, Birmingham, Shrewsbury, Brighton, Cambridge, Nottingham, Oxford, Leeds, York, Leicester, Newcastle, Berlin and London. Wow! Please come see me in the Soho Theatre in London. That's the one where like my friends will come and it'll be really embarrassing if people aren't there. But if you know anyone in those areas, please come because I I will lose it if I show up and no one's there She's somewhere. She's very good at stand up. Go see her. I'm I'm so good. I'm so good at it. She ain't wrong. She's I'm not wrong. so She's talented. Not wrong. So wrong. please come. All the tickets are on my website. And can you tweet me when you book tickets so then I don't have to beg as much? Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, also, at the weekend, I did a tour show in Bristol. Lovely stuff. What a nice place to gig. I've been there. Oh, my God, it's, it's gorgeous. Great. It's gorgeous. And the people are nice. Dreamy. Are you just discovering this? I think I just hadn't noticed Bristol before. I've, uh, when I, before I came to the UK, everyone was like, you got to see Bath. It's all about Bath. And Bath is nice. But Bristol, I don't know. It has something I really like. I was going to say quoi. Oui, oui. It took me a while to get to Bristol. To yeah, be fair. yeah, I've really. Lived here for like thirty years. Yeah, <laughs> it's really nice. I really, nice. food's great. People it's are lovely. Too far away. <laughs> no, it's not. It's actually not. It's, it's like it's like an hour away. <laughs> yeah, sure, but it's also like very queer in a way. I didn't expect it to be, which was great. And so the audience were like, I walked in and there was already like I, I could see mull- your people. Yeah, I could see bowl cuts, and I thought this is for me. It's and like I just crusty thought, queer. It's kind of yeah. it's kind of like we're queer, but we live in like wait, what's a Disney crusty post queer? <laughs> like, just like they that's, make is their that own like bears. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like they tattoo each other and yeah, like, like, like okay. lots of they and poke, squat. Yeah. yeah, but also like, like prison. No. Yeah. What? Oh, we've got no, different ways with that. Anyway, they were fabulous. And so Guy Goodman, one of our exec producers, yeah. was there with his wife, who turns out does exist. Honestly, Jen, that's a shocker. I knew and that. So, I saw her on Zoom. Okay, well, I just assumed she was hired for the evening. Regardless, um, as a stand-in, I don't know what I'm saying. The point is, the uh, they were there and they're coming to Edinburgh Fringe. And um, I was saying that we should get a gang together of gigless and hog fans to go to see your show at the same time so I'm going to bring about 45 hoglets hogs <laughs> is that what you call them show. hoglets yeah I, think we're like, I like that Thank hoglets you. is cute right but then hoglets it's because like M and Andrew are the, the hoglet. hoglets so are they hogs it's very hard no, to say no I like junior hoglets junior hoglets so Love you're it. the hogs yeah no I'm Helen you're Helen <laughs> <laughs> you're no, the trusty hog all the time all the fucking time <laughs> so you're the pig no Helen you need to sort this out because you need it for the merch like you That's need to true. come out of the gate knowing what you're but I would like true. it if we just like completely ignored merch and we've got some merch but just went straight for everyone else to get tattoos <laughs> Oh, I love that. You've got to have my face tattooed on your stomach and then my name down your back in Arabic. What about me? Whole, yeah. I mean, Polly, that's what yeah. she always tries to do. But yeah, um, they're coming, so I really want to go and make sure that everyone is, I want to go on a day with hog fans. So that, That'll be uh, so cute. I know, right? I mean, but your show's just after, before mine. Yeah, but I can come straight after. You'd be sweaty. Oh, Jesus. You sorry. must have really nice fans. If they you're, are really if you're happy nice. To meet them in person. Oh, they're lovely. Are they? They're really nice. I met the oh, there's like they're just so good. Like they're good people. Yeah. That being said, we're they gonna all, get an asshole one now. Oh, no doubt. But they all bring Helen gifts, which is um, really yeah. Yeah, just Helen. Oh my god, so just, much just, stuff. Just, it's just so just good. Helen. <laughs> like, it's because she lists the things she wants out loud. That's good. That's like the having podcast. an Amazon wish list. Yeah. If you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I no, want maybe book I need recommendations. One. Maybe I need That's one of my them. new one coming up. I want more like kitschy mugs. I love magnets. Love magnets. I, Little I want pieces some too. of jewelry. <laughs> what do you I want? I need some new uh, period pants. <laughs> <laughs> Size 22. <laughs> okay, how about I get a little wish list on Amazon because I can't list all the things like you do. But regardless, we have, um, well, on this podcast, Jen, we help our listeners with their problems on account of the okay. wisdom of our guests. Would you be willing to help us with one? Yeah, I'll try. Okay, amazing. Um, do we have a problem from a listener? Like you don't believe in I'm yourself. I'm a support worker. <laughs> I love that Jen is like, I will assess the situation and let you know if I can help. Yeah. Unlike us who's like, we're like, we can help. I can help in any situation. <laughs> yeah. If anything, we are too confident. I like your level of... Um, are they, what are we looking both. at? Are they going to come out? Oh, Hel- my God, look at that. <laughs> Do they, Helen. like, stand there? And- oh, you know, we don't whisk <laughs> them out. Helen, put your legs away. 
Close your legs, Helen. Helen. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. It's not a that very felt, civilized podcast. That felt like the sexiest of anyone watching on YouTube. You're fucking welcome. <laughs> Helen You're just welcome. growled while she threateningly got out her vagina. Let's Oh, go. I think you would know. You um. would have smelt her. <laughs> Jesus. Over my legs. Is that the trusty hog? <laughs> 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 no, because she's not that trusty. <laughs> she's reliably exposed, though. Fucking yeah. hell. And okay. she's always going to be a bit grey. Oh, jeez. Okay. What am I looking at? You're Me. looking at Emma, who's going to read us a <laughs> Oh, <article>. okay. <laughs> Tell us. Okay, so this uh, this correspondent has asked to be referred to as Gorgeous exclusively. So this is from Gorgeous. Hi, Gorgeous. Hi, Gorgeous. Really into this. Feels very hey, JVN. Yeah. <laughs> The situation is, three months ago, I moved to London from Fringe. Welcome. Hey, well done. That's going really well, but I've struggled making new friends. I'm yeah. used to a very small circle of friends, uh, people I've known since we were literal toddlers. Uh, so I'm doing everything I can to meet people, joining clubs, reaching out to online mutuals. But every time I try and arrange to meet uh, IRL outside these activities, they all, bar one, have flaked out on me. I'm worried that this is the norm for London, because if it is, I'm a person who values reliability in my friendships. So it's going to really hamper my ability to build relationships. I'm also very decisive and confident. So I do worry sometimes I steamroll people into hanging out with me. So my question is, what can I do to make people more reliable slash less likely to flake out on me? And to what signs should I look for that someone actually isn't interested in being friends? So you just need to manipulate them into the situation. Very simple. What yeah. I would threaten is suicide if they don't meet up with you. Helen! <laughs> no! You've got a guaranteed hang. No! <laughs> Helen, Jesus. Problem solved. Next, you're welcome, gorgeous. It probably would work. It I would have a high it would success so rate. Would, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, it's London. It wouldn't. People would be like, I'm busy, babe. Yeah, I'm busy. I can't make it. Good um, luck, though. So as somebody's not from London, how do you feel about that? Um... I think, first of all, it is the norm in London. I think I people. Think so too. Mm -hmm. I think people are real busy. People have got a lot of pressures, and everything feels so far away. And the place is stressful, and also it's expensive. So, people put, I think, greater um, litmus tests on meeting up with new people. But I would say a couple of things that I find useful. Try if you can to uh, suggest things that don't cost money. I know that sounds weird, but I think a lot of the time people are like, "Oh God, I just can't spend another thirty quid just because we had eggs." And so. Like coffee and a walk would be good. <laughs> uh, the other thing to say is um, that it's fine. You're putting yourself out there and that's going to take time. It's not going to happen straight away. But actually, when people flake out on you on the first time, I feel like that's useful information. The worst is when you hang out with someone three times and then they get flaky and you're like, well, I thought we were... Like yeah, you, you're yeah. like, okay, cool. The one person who didn't, that's a good egg. And then the next person who doesn't will also be, but it's going to take time. I really do think it's going to take time. Also, I don't know if we discussed this on the podcast or just like in real life, but like we, that we had like a couple of gigs recently. I don't know whether you were there. I think you were, where they'd like met on Bumble Friends. Oh, is and like, it is, it is. And like, I think like and the person was like saying like, oh, that's so weird. And it's like, no, I've actually heard that increasingly more and more at gigs. That's nice. Bumble for friends. And it's sort of, I mean, it might be Bumble. It's one of the, I think it is though. And uh, you can find yourself buddies, like nothing romantic. It's just sort of like, hey, do you, I'm also new here or I don't like, I want to meet that's someone so new. Sweet. Also, like there is loads of free things to do in London. It don't cost fuck all to go in the Princess Diana Memorial Fountain. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> well, I was going to, I mean, I don't know how old gorgeous is yeah um but i'm like, gonna say 64 what i was gonna right say right. my advice would be i think you need to like aim i think you like forget about young people because they're like not doing you know they've got lives and that you want to aim at like older people okay like, what do you call older Jim? like 80 oh. 90 <laughs> like people who are kind of like near the end they're lonely like and just talking about free things like the library is a great place to kind of just hang out meet old people and befriend them we are such predators, and I fucking love this And then what, get written us. into their will, Jen? Well, I did it once. I what, get, get, got written into you a will? You stood in a library. <laughs> no. So when I used to work in Tesco, um, there yeah. was this older lady who used to come in all the time, and yeah. she was lovely. She had, like, ferrets, and she would show me pictures of her ferrets. She was, like, amazing. <laughs> She's kind of like a local kind of, like, quirky person. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you call those? Like an a kook. Yeah. A kook. <laughs> a nutter. <laughs> yeah. She's an extent. She was a lovely... A mentalist. <laughs> an alcoholic. No, she was... A, <laughs> <laughs> no, she was really lovely, really, really nice. And we, uh, it was always a joy when she would come in. But then I was quite young when I worked in Tesco. Yeah. And then when I was leaving after two years, she was like really sad. And I oh. felt really guilty. So I gave her my phone number. Yeah. She was oh, like God. 70. And um, she then kept texting me and asked me if I wanted to go out and do something. Aww. So I took her to the Sea Life Centre in Brighton. Oh. 
and I bought her an ice cream oh, and um, there was just this moment where she was like sitting on the wall outside and she had the ice cream and she was licking it and it all just fell down her foot <laughs> and I just thought I've overstepped a boundary <laughs> It should not be this fashion. Yeah, it was really, but it was not. But then she took me to a big Tesco, not the Tesco I worked in. And she was kept, she kept trying to buy me things. She kept trying to buy me like a duvet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh like, duvets are always useful. She was like, do you need a duvet? Do you need this? And oh, I was like, sweet no. angel. Yeah, but I cut it off then. I was like, she's trying to buy me things. You know, it's, it's I feel like I'm taking advantage. I didn't let her buy me anything. Not okay. to bring it back to me, but I'm really worried that's how you treat me because you took me <laughs> to the Sea Life Centre and then you bought me a slushie. And I'm really? really worried. It was your birthday. I know, but now I'm worried that you're sort of like treating me like Jen treats a 70 year old. <laughs> if anything, I think I'm the 70 year old in our dynamic and you're just my giddy like grandchild. Thank what you was so the much. best thing you saw at the Sea Life Centre? Jellyfish. Oh my God, jellyfish were I love jellyfish. jellyfish. It was a revelation, yeah. a revelation for Catherine, but I, I said before we went in, I'm going to love the jellyfish. Can we get back to Gorg- you first. gorgeous for a second? <laughs> yeah, gorgeous. Okay, gorgeous what my friends started doing. I mean, number one, you can try making friends the way that Catherine is doing at the moment, which is aggressively going to quizzes and yelling at people, which I don't think she's making friends, but she is making enemies. I'm making money. She's making a splash. <laughs> she's making a splash. I am making money. My friend, my friend just started ice skating lessons. And I think it's the best thing that she's ever done. Where? That's she's so really cute. uncoordinated. Who and did? she loves it. My friend Jazz. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. No, 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 like Streatham. Oh, oh, maybe that's what I was thinking of. Streatham, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. My friend did that in Manchester. She started learning to, Charlotte started to learn to ice skate. No and it's way. like, good for you. Why the fuck not? Freaking lush stuff. Also, my friend has started doing um, like, jiu-jitsu lessons and it's amazing though because she's been doing jiu-jitsu basically she got a role in a play she got cast to scout in um to kill a mockingbird in the Does west that end need jiu-jitsu? no 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 it doesn't oh, yeah, no. <laughs> but she got, so basically my friend gwyneth we've mentioned her before in this big fans of gwyneth keyworth we should have her on here we should we should yeah. she basically so she got cast as the role and then like but they had like ages before rehearsal started but she knew this job was coming up so she couldn't take another job because it's like it's a place so it takes up like nearly a whole year yeah so she was like oh what do i do what do i do to fill my time and like like to like hang out with people because everyone else is working yeah started jujitsu and now if you go see um to kill a mockingbird in the west end scout is fucking ripped <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just scout ever running around. Like, yeah, like, like, I just think I'm scared of Bradley. Beat you up. <laughs> I think under the like <laughs> screaming is a valid point here, gorgeous. Which is actually that I think there's something to be said for a sports team. Yeah, any kind of club, right? Yeah, because I think unlike like other activities, sports people tend to go for a drink afterwards. Like mm-hmm. so, like if you join a rugby team or a hockey team or like whatever, they'll go out after. Like, and I think that's yeah. Quite you don't a have nice to play. Way. You can just do like a class. Yeah. Oh no, I think you do have to play if you join a sports team. Why? Do you I watch? know. I'm they need, sorry. They need spectators. No, I don't think that person gets to go to the pub after. I think you have <laughs> to not? actually play. <gasps> oh my god! Actually, I saw something. I the two of you were like, you can just do orange slices. <laughs> like, no, no, I think you have to. Play. Any excuse? <laughs> well, fact, you, if you want, you can come with me and Jen to a horse meet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there going up to horses being like do you human <laughs> were you human before this yeah. and Jen will be trying Just to get eating, their feedbacks yeah. off and try and <laughs> <laughs> um, also here's another thing I passed the other day on the train you know when you see something and you're like oh my life is a waste without this so I was in between Denmark Hill and Peckham Rye yeah. on the overground and I looked down and there's a barbecue school there now London School of Barbecue oh my and gosh. I looked it up and you can just do like a weekend course where you just get taught how to barbecue by what? like three hipsters is and I was like, like is that like Hamburger University that McDonald's has <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that but I think I might like book in with a couple of friends yes I mean it's I'm just curious Of I want to know what they teach is I would like love modules? to spend a weekend at the London barbecue school and graduate yeah and it's, that's something where I think it's not a massive commitment yeah but it's like two days and like you will meet people there a hundred percent the other thing I want to say to Gorgeous is like well done you're trying like yeah. you're you're trying and it's only been three months and I know that probably feels like ages but in reality like the fact that you're already putting yourself out there that you've already joined things is so impressive it took me years in London to get like a core group together mm-hmm. um, and to figure out how to meet people and I had to start an entire new career and pretend I like jokes for that to happen like it just was like so sad for you I know this whole thing was just supposed to be to meet people People, and now yeah. I'm doing this. My it's best true, friend though. when I first moved to London was the security guard and accessories I worked in. His name is Nurman, and he taught me how to do Muslim Acha Hana. 
Yeah. It was a wonderful relationship. I'd say one of my best friends for a long time in London was my um, then handyman for the block I lived in. And now he worked for the company that was managing it. And now, now he's still my handyman. But... He just comes to my house. I give him chocolates for his kids. He tells me his news. I tell him mine, and he won't let me pay him. Really? Yeah, that's so not. You it's inherited like, him. <laughs> yeah, we both basically just found like London dads. Yeah. <laughs> but in the meantime, I strongly recommend, um, yeah, sports team or yeah, maybe going to your local quiz and asking if anybody needs an extra team or maybe? start comedy. Or start comedy like the, all the, the, the sad quality boys. of friends will be low. Yeah, but you'll yeah. have them. <laughs> yeah, it but, gets better. Yeah. <laughs> Jen Ives, what a lovely girl you are. Thank you. Do you want high five? Yeah. Ow. Oh, oh. <laughs> strong hand. There you go. Oh, God, stop. Oh, no, stop <laughs> it. Why are you no, stopping it? <laughs> I need this for work. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah. I had a lovely time. This was so nice. Well, thank you. Dad. Well, here's the big question. Where can people find more of you? Um, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter. The racist. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, Twitter. Instagram. Yeah. Jen all Ives. The- Jen Ives. Uh, Jan Ives Comedian on Great. Twitter. How embarrassing. Like, exactly, Great. I know. But you got to say it. you got to say it. There's a playwright called Jan Ives. I'm not doing no, no, that. Of course. I think so. Fuck okay, so Jan Ives Comedian on Twitter and Instagram. And what about TikTok? I am on there, but I can't remember my username and there's no point in looking at okay, what I do on there. Okay, don't go there. <laughs> and, but also you have a website and content. JanIves.net. Ooh, have love that. Have you put that. out loads of online content? Is that I put out loads of shit. YouTube yeah, just... or should they go to your website? Like, I have a Patreon. Am I allowed to plug that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's called patreon.com slash JenIves and I do, all my best stuff is there. It's genuinely, I pay for. Jen's <laughs> online content is amazing. Really, yeah. really good and strong. I would strongly recommend paying for Thank it. It's you. very good. Strongly recommend. Very good. Also, if anyone who is just sort of like, why would you say, I'm not going to type it in, we're just going to tag Jen and everything. Yeah. Just one click away. I put like all, like, I put loads of stuff on there, like stand up and like dumb videos. Funny tweets as well. Just like funny funny tweets. They're free. The tweets are free. Also, a lot of, let's be honest, why am I paying? Let's be honest, a lot of thirst traps on there too, Jen. Let's be real. Maybe some, but oh, if, you can't, if you can't post there, then where can you? Where no, can absolutely. You? Family WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to. I feel like I have to do it because, like, and this isn't because you're moaning. so hot. Well, yeah, but also because, like, <laughs> yeah. every time I post anything on there, I get like a thousand people telling me I'm ugly. So, like, you have to keep doing it to Ew. kind of like it's like it's like how you generate yeah attention. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> okay well that's it's gross, a really good and marketing I'm sorry technique. I hate them <laughs> poor me mm, I, yeah, don't yeah, I, I love being a victim it's so much fun it's like, so good me. yeah <laughs> Jenna Jenna yeah, yeah, yeah. and go see Jen in Edinburgh please her show's gonna be amazing <laughs> please <laughs> do I'm so hungry come on then <laughs> 